Here at Pole Position, we have a very extensive hook range, and we're often asked how we go from a simple idea and we take that all the way through to production. Now, bear in mind, our parent company are Gamakatsu, and there's nothing they don't know about hooks, but let me explain how we do it. As we said, there's already an extensive range of hooks already available, but what you have to remember as well is all the guys that work in the technical department, they're all very keen fishermen. So they're always looking for little tweaks, they're looking for edges, they're looking for ways to put more fish on a bank. And obviously this looks always constantly looking at developing our hook range. So basically it goes straight to our technical department where they make rough sketches. So there it goes to technical drawings to make sure the correct thicknesses and proportions are added. So samples are requested. So we can see if we have to make any technical adjustments, if any. So we know when they go to production that they're ready to catch fish. We have a variety of patterns because each hook will obviously suit a different fishing situation. So for example, a chod hook would be suited to a stiff material and maybe a wide gape to a fluorocarbon. Above all, all the hooks we bring out have to be durable, strong, reliable and on point. So let's jump into the range that we do. All our hooks come in this packaging. Um, something I absolutely love about this. What you find is because each individual hook is mounted, the points don't blunt. Something very, very important for me that. So we're going to start by looking at the S-type. This is our signature hook in the range. So the S-type can be used in various situations. And as I said, it's our signature hook model within the pole position range. There's a combination of a very long straight point with a micro barb and a medium long shank. It makes it really aggressive. So by extending it with a ready-made aligner or a bit of shrink tube, it will turn even faster into a fish's mouth. Next up is a super snatch, which is very aptly named. Um, the combination of a very long, slightly interned straight point with a micro barb and a medium long shank make this hook very, very aggressive. The wire used is extra thick to make sure that the hook does not bend even in the most difficult circumstances. Extending the hook slightly with our ready-made aligners, or again with a small piece of shrink tube, will allow the hook to turn faster, and again, to hook the fish more aggressively. Next up is the Chodex, one of my favorite hooks, and I really think in this case it is Chods for Gods. So again, a very long straight point with a micro bob, a medium long shank, and slightly outturned eye make this hook extremely, extremely aggressive. This is the ideal hook for chod stiff rigs. The material used for these chod stiff rigs is normally quite thick, but because of the extra big eye on the chod X, you will have no problems when tying these rigs. Okay guys, so next up in the range is the Strongbow. So this is a classic curve shank hook, and it's very, very popular within our range. The Strongbow is a very aggressive hook. The wire is extra thick to make sure that the hook doesn't bend, even in the most difficult circumstances. So basically with a strong bow, you don't have to use an aligner or a kicker. It's not necessary, but it can be used if you want it to be. Last but not least is a snag stub. Absolutely love this hook. It's already a modern day classic. It's the traditional wide gape, and you can use it in so many different fishing situations. The combination of a slightly beaked long point with a micro barb and a medium to long shank make this hook, again, very, very aggressive. As the name would suggest, the Snagster is probably one of the strongest hooks that we do. It's an absolute beast. It's ideal for fishing close to snags, river fishing, anywhere it's going to be where there's going to be a lot of abuse. And as with some of the other hooks, you can extend these with the ready-made aligners or a bit of shrink tube. Oh, that was that behind me. Oh, oh, Lord. That's right on the left-hand rod. That's... That that's not far. That's not far off the left-hand rod. Anyway, guys, you'll be glad to know that I've got a snagster on the left-hand rod. And uh, I don't think you saw that, did you, in camera shot? But there was quite a big fish just jumping there. So, <laughs> I'm excited. What I will say, guys, at this point is I'm not a technical man when it comes to hooks. But we have a wealth of knowledge behind us. And we have a great team that really do have a lot of knowledge. So, basically, I'm going to run through some aspects of the different elements and construction of our hooks, starting with the relationship from the eye to the point. Yeah, this distance is essential for the hook to turn effectively once the fish takes the bait. If it's too small, there's not enough for the hook to grab the flesh 
And if it's too big, obviously, it's not just going to catch hold anywhere. So what you'll notice is this distance is consistent with all of our hooks because we believe we've got that distance absolutely perfect. Moving on from that, we're often asked about coated hooks. What you'll find with a coated hook is you'll, it'll get a better hook hold when it's coated than when it's smooth. If it's smooth, they do tend to actually slide out of the fish's mouth if not enough pressure is applied. So there's advantages and disadvantages to rough and coated hooks. For example, a smooth hook can penetrate more easily, but it can also slip out easier. And that's why tools like the shot on the hook, the QC heavy sinker, a liner liner, that's why they all ensure you get a maintained better hook hold. So we're often asked, what does a hook hold tell you? Well, basically, depending on where a fish is hooked, whether it's in the bottom of the mouth, whether it's hooked into the scissors, it tells you a lot about the hook hold that you're getting. I mean, that could even be something as simple as how long is your rig or what bait you're using. But all I'd say to everybody in this instance, right, do your little bit of research, yeah? Once you start to get things, when it's rocking and when it's working well, always make notes, make them little changes, right, and stick with them, right? And if all of a sudden you start to get different hook holds, yeah, ask yourself why. All, all fishing is about is about consistency. Find the right hook, find the right rig, find the fish, and that's all you need to do. Again, we're often asked, you know, where do you ideally want to hook a fish? Well, of course, it's in the center of the mouth, on the bottom lip, set back a little bit. Obviously, you don't want to nick it in the lip. Um, but, you know, I always say this. If you think most of us are using boilies, yeah, a, a fish's mouth is round and it's blowing round baits out. So really, it can be very difficult. So that's why I'd always say... In combination, yeah, with most of these hooks, if you can use like a shot on a hook, the QC, heavy sinker, any of that, that will put obviously um, the odds in your favour to catching fish. So for example, if I was barely hooking fish, what would I change? I mean, first thing, I'd look at the um, rig and that'd be the hook length, that'd be the first thing. But again, you know, it's like using the aligner liner, it's using um, the QC, heavy sinker. I can't stress enough. Once you start to use these extra bits, these little extra tools, these little extra gadgets, yeah, they will start to give you consistent hook holds in the center of the mouth. Okay, guys, as I alluded to earlier, we're always developing new designs when it comes to hooks. And today I'm going to show you the bow grip. This is a very, very exciting hook. So taking a quick look at this, it looks like a classic circle hook, but there's lots of differences are very visible straight away so when you first look at this you would be forgiven for thinking that the eye and the point are slightly closer together but if you lay this next to one of our other hooks that we mentioned earlier you'll find that the distances are exactly the same and that's because we keep that consistency right across the range of all of our hooks as we believe it's the ideal distance for the hooks to function properly so in what fishing situation would you consider using this hook and the easy answer to that is this hook the bow grip is an absolute all-rounder and it can be used in most fishing situations so there you go guys that's the new addition to the already impressive range that's the bow grip so if you want to know any more details about this please head over to the pole position website